Hey guys, Daryl here from NL United. I'm down at the Tea Room in Mainland in the Port of Port Peninsula. Uh, as you may have heard, they've been under a boil advisory order since they turned their water back on. They were shut down last week. They shut down last Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening. The K-12 school was shut down and the town had no water for three days because the water wasn't drinkable. So we decided to bring uh, 165 gallons of spring water from Stephenville. We've tested it, it's good to drink. And a lot of locals have also pitched in and donated money to get bottled water. So a big thanks to those people. Um, and as you know, there's a bit of a crisis here right now. They don't have uh, clean water to drink and they're under an emergency boil order because of the work that's been happening with the Met Towers that World Energy GH2 are doing up in, near LaQuince Brook. So there are tons of emails that have gone back and forth with the government and the people in charge of the LSD. And I want to know where Andrew Fury is because Andrew Fury, you haven't been here. Goody Hutchings, you haven't been here. Bernard Davis, you haven't been here. Andrew Parsons, you haven't been here. You've had your lackeys send emails back and forth. This is a call out to Andrew Fury and the liberal government to be held accountable for the situation in mainland Port of Port Peninsula right now the lack of transparency from World Energy GH2, Andrew Fury's fishing buddies. He had time to go fishing with them, but he hasn't had time to come down and meet the people who are being affected negatively by this project in the Port of Port Peninsula. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This is a global cartel that is influencing our liberal government in Newfoundland and Labrador, and they're too afraid. They're too chicken to come down here and meet with the people. If you are a man of the people, Andrew Fury, if you have courage, Andrew Parsons, Bernard Davis, Goody Hutchings, do your job. Show that you care about the communities. Come on down and meet these people. Ask them what's really going on. So February 20th, LSD sent an email to Andrew Parsons. And Andrew Fury, you were CC'd on that email. Minister's letter to local service district mainland, RE to Wind Energy Land Reserve mainland, was replied to on March 2nd. On February 19th, 2023, Hassine Khan, the Department of Environment in St. John's, Hassine Khan has been the Water Resource Division, uh, has been one of the workers there since 1990. Justin Trudeau, Stephen Gilbert, and Andrew Fury were also CC'd on those emails. The LSD of mainland was talking about the turbidity levels. And the responses they're getting, well, none from Andrew Fury, let's put it that way. Some from some of the departments, not good enough. World Energy GH2 was emailed on February 19th. Bernard Davis and Andrew Parsons were CC'd, and I'm pretty sure Andrew Fury would have been made aware of that as well. Failed to communicate with our community by not providing information prior to restarting the construction on local road LaQuantris Brook. Goody Hutchings, January 19, 2023. Justin Trudeau and Andrew Fury also CC'd on that email. No response from any of those offices. Goody Hutchings' office did respond, but Goody Hutchings herself didn't respond. Mainland water, uh, water and land concerns. Bernard Davis, Andrew Fury was CC'd on this one, December 16, 2022. Official request. Officially request the minister's approval for the uh, issuance of a stopping order by the authority granted to the mainland LSD under section 10.3 of policy directive WR95-01, which applies to all areas under section 39, protection of public water supplies under the Water Resources Act. No response from Andrew Fury. Andrew Fury, you've never been down here to mainland to address this issue. Andrew Parsons has not been down here to address this issue. Bernard Davis has not been down here to address this issue. Goody Hutchings has not been down here to address this issue. Why is it that NL United needs to go out and get 165 gallons of spring water and bring it down here for the locals? And why is it that nobody from Andrew Fury's government is taking responsibility for this? This goes back a lot longer than that. January 13th, the LSD received a letter from Bernard Davis in regards to stop work order request. Request was denied. December 16th, LSD submitted a formal letter requesting minister for a stop work order for WHU, WGH2, due to the contamination of water from LaCointre's Brook. 
After several emails back and forth, we offered to get a mediator for meetings of the mainland to ensure proactivity. Requ we requested the meeting to occur on December 16th. They agreed and made their own agenda for the meeting and requested once again the people in, atten uh, once again the people in attendance. They wanted to dictate the terms of the meeting, essentially. The night before the meeting, when the LSD chaired, emailed them with a list of committee members, the stakeholders attending, World Energy GH2 said they could not make the meeting. December 2nd, LSD emailed to MHA stating that we submitted an application to get LaQuantre's book protected and WH2 were not taking your concerns seriously. Let's go back a little further, shall we? November 14th, reports of blasting were made to the LSD. July 6th, meetings held at the town of Cape St. George and town of Lords with initial consultations from World Energy GH2, LSD and Mainland had to request representation at these meetings. We were not invited by World Energy GH2 to these meetings. And that's only some of the things that have happened in this timeline. Because the paperwork I have here goes back as far as July. And it shows that there's been very little communication between the Liberal government, its representatives, and the people of Mainland. You guys have forgotten about the people who are your constituents, who pay taxes, and who have voted for you. And it's time to get your act together, grow some courage, tell your globalist masters that you're not interested in their plan, and put the people of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador first. It's about time, and I'm going to call you every day, Andrew Fury, until you do a public statement addressing this particular situation in mainland and the Port of Port Peninsula and this project that you have endorsed behind closed doors with private handshakes in fishing lodges up in Labrador. We know what's going on, we have a timeline and you will be held accountable. This is your warning. Now is your time. Now is your chance to fix the situation before it gets too late. I am requesting on behalf of the people in mainland and the Port of Port Peninsula for Andrew Fury to do a press conference and address this issue and send a representative down to the LSD in mainland in person to drink their tap water and compare it to this spring water. I am asking you to come down here yourself and meet these people and shake their hands. Well, we're going to look at what the water looks like up in Laquinas Brook. This is the water up in Laquinas Brook. They turned the pump back on. This is what's going to go through their pumps. This is spring water, natural spring water. This is what the water should look like, and this is what the water looked like last week. Enough is enough, Andrew Fury. Where are you? Come down here. Meet these people in person. Stop whatever you're doing. Stop telling lies about the healthcare system and get down here and do your job. We'll be waiting.